Hello and welcome to another Mario Party 3 mini game review. Oof, ouch, owie. Today we're playing another dangerous mini game that you should never try at home. Trust me, I know, because I did try it at home. It's the free for all mini game Parasol Plummet. Each character grabs onto a parasol and floats around trying to collect as many coins as possible. If you close the parasol, you'll fall down, and if you open it, you'll rise up. But, like I said, don't try this one in real life. I jumped off my roof with an umbrella earlier, and I'm still feeling it. It hurts to sit down! Well, that sounds like a pretty rough story. I guess I should have known. You never want to try any of the Mario Party games at home, unless you're playing them on the TV. And even then, a lot of those aren't even good on the TV. Including this one. It's okay, but we've definitely played a lot better. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it was kind of boring and bland. The only good thing was that you got coins. Yeah, that's really the biggest saving grace in this one. At least you're leaving with something positive. It's definitely not fun to play. You're just kind of going up and down, and you don't have a ton of control over where you go, so it's just kind of unrewarding to play it. Yeah, and there's not even too much strategy either. One thing we did discover, though, is that you should try and stick to the sides, because then you'll have the first opportunity to get the big money bags. However, it does mean you might get hit by the hammer bros first, though, and there's not really time to move out of the way. Yeah, when you found that strategy, I tried it out after that, and it definitely does help out a lot. Even though you will get hit by some hammers, you still end up well ahead, I'm pretty sure. That's the only real strategy you can do in this minigame. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to it, but at least you get coins. Overall, you're not going to love this minigame or hate it. It's kind of bland and boring to play, but at least you end up with some coins. The only real strategy we found in maximizing our coins is to just stick to the edges of the screen, where you're guaranteed to get the coins before anyone else. It does have the downside of getting hit by hammers, but you'll still probably end up ahead. Other than that, just remember that you'll be leaving with some coins, and don't get too caught up on playing this one. It'll be done soon. We're giving it 3 stars out of 5. Well that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Next up, we'll be reviewing Picking Panic. Who would ever pick Panic? I definitely prefer to be calm. Yeah, it's not my first choice either. Well, we'll see what we think of the minigame. Hope, Hope to, to see, see you then. then.